We have missed our next guest very much, and he is back to talk about open houses. You know him as Big Daddy. Please welcome Brian Garrity. And he's back. Yeah. Big Daddy's in the house. What's up, man? About time. How yeah. you doing? How you doing, brother? Good, Good to see you. Back. Uh, so, this is an interesting one. You don't well, like open houses. Well, it sounds boring on its surface, right? Oh, I God, an boring. agent talking about open houses. Yay. Oh, I think I'm going to tune into that. But I'm not sitting here advocating for open houses. It's time to dispel the myth. What's the myth? That your house is going to sell at an open house. Your house is going to sell if you have an agent that knows how to put a marketing plan together to get your house sold. Now, let's talk about open houses nationally. Okay. I love this statistic. Okay. So you can argue both ways, but I think you should look at the global, the macro level, that nationally, how many houses sell at an open house, via an open house, or that vehicle, 2%. Okay. 2%. That's out of everything for sale nationally. Only 2% of those sell at an open house. What do you think that is in San Diego? <sighs> Probably around the same. Okay. I, would think. I really do. I think that that corresponds and translates. So you Maybe think even a little different? less with our inventory being so low, honestly. Yeah, probably. Um, I think the higher the inventory, the okay, then an open house might make sense, but let's talk about why I think it doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, there, are, look, you have an agent that's going to come for an interview. They're going to want to tell you all the wonderful things they're going to do for you. If the first thing they're going to tell you they're going to do is hold your house open, we're going to have a mega open house. We're going to have a taco truck and an ice cream truck and balloons and mariachis. You're selling a house. You're not there to put on a show. You're really not. You're putting a sh you showcase the house, not showcase the taco truck or the ice cream. So open houses really, honestly, if that's what somebody is hanging their hat on to sell your house, I would run the other way. I would want to know, like, how many houses have you sold? How many buyers have you helped? What is your marketing plan? What do you do during the day? So because why do you think these agents want to do open houses then? Because it makes them look busy. It makes them look like they're doing something productive. Like, look at all what I'm doing to help sell your house. I even got a taco truck and made it a mega open house. Maybe on win this listing for TV. Win this listing. Maybe on million dollar listing. Uh, on, <laughs> You're hey, thinking of the better reality. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, when this listing is a real reality show. It's real. It's real. There's no scripting, folks. Trust. But million dollar listing. I'm sorry if you watch that. It's a great show. I love the people that are on it. Uh, Thirty million dollar properties don't get sold in a five minute phone call. I'm sorry. It, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> are you I, sure? I don't know the statistic on that one, but I'm sure it's a small one. But on the open houses, what happens is you're going to get four kinds of people that typically are going to come through. You're going to get the neighbor that, at the end of the day, maybe the nosy neighbor or the neighbor that just wants to see what your house is like compared to theirs, what's your shape, what's their shape, maybe decorating ideas, et cetera. Um, you get the, and those are, con those are, that's normal. You have the neighbor there. Where's the benefit there of a neighbor coming? For the real estate agent, not for the seller. See, I think open houses are for the real estate agent's benefit. If there's transparency there, both parties come to the table and understand benefits outweighing the negatives, the benefits for the real estate agent, beep, versus for the seller. Okay, you have some exposure have a bunch of people through your house. But at the end of the day, that agent, if your neighbors are coming in, can make a connection. They see the name. Real estate's relationship business at the end of the day. You've got to have the connections. So there's one. So in the re that's in the realtor's corner. Neighbor's not in your corner. Then you'll have the people that are out looking for design ideas or aesthetics. And they do that on a regular basis. That will hit open houses all over the place. They're more interested in finding what they could do to their house or getting ideas that happens left and right. You also have, <clears throat> this sounds alarmist though, I don't like this one, but you also have the burglar. I, I would say that if you are doing an open house, all of your valuables, medications, whatever it is, need to be locked and stored securely. If you read about that, the statistic is low. But it happens. Like you could have somebody casing your house. 
And I don't want that to sound alarmist. It does. That feels, I, that's the one that I'm like, mm, I don't know. Yes, maybe somebody could be cased in your house. That's a big stretch, though. But I think that, what you're saying is that a lot of the people who come to open houses may not be buyers. They're not. Or, buyers. or, or they are buyers, but for a $300,000 property and yours is six hundred. dollars See, there's no pre-approval, there's no screening, there's a lot of times maybe not even an agent involved. So on the buyer side, it allows them to go to an open house, maybe to check things out, but they may not be qualified. There's just so much to it that's so random. It's random. So what do you yeah. think about people who say uh, that the open houses are more convenient? For example, uh, I have three kids and two dogs and we all need to be out of there every time we show the place. It is. We do an open house, we can just leave for four hours and show it to everybody who wants to see it. Okay, so in this market, which is not allowed on our MLS, but the Riverside MLS allows this, you could do exactly what you're talking about. List the property, say no showings until Saturday. You cannot do that in San Diego. And let's be uber clear, you cannot, that's an MLS violation here. There are other MLSs that will allow you to do that. And there's a reason I'm up in Corona area, they just had one. Listed it on January 1st for a good price. No showings until like the 15th. They had a line around the block to get into that house. So now that's gonna sound like everything you just said gets thrown out the window. But it, lying around the block, you're gonna have 80 people in your house at one time how do you think that's going to show? How could you possibly keep tabs on all those people? From a convenience standpoint for the seller, yes. But if you're going to sell your house, it might be inconvenient. You want top dollar. You need to feel a little uncomfortable, possibly. Maybe your <laughs> schedule is going to be disrupted. Figure out what you're going to do with your children. And I'm not being rude about it. The harder you make your house to show, the more difficult it's gonna be. So is it easy to open it on a Sunday from one to five and let all those people come in and the family can leave versus scheduling private showings? Yes, but the 2% of houses that sell nationally is not in your favor as a seller. You know what's in your favor as a seller? Hi, Brian Garrity. I have clients that want to see your house tomorrow at one o'clock. That should be okay. Mm -hmm. Not no, mm -hmm. not, oh, can they come on Friday at five? No, I'm calling for tomorrow. I understand people have stuff in their schedule. So yes, the open house, I'm sorry, on a regular basis, it feels like a cop out to me. Too easy to throw that, to make it grandiose, to just say how oh, you're the wonderful mega house. Great, you hold mega, you're a party planner. Mm -hmm. You're selling real estate. Tell me what you're gonna do to get my house sold. Get me top what dollar, et cetera. What else should people be doing? instead of the open house that's better? There's a lot of cool things people could be doing. And I'm not talking about just putting a sign in the yard, easy, putting on MLS, easy, because people have access now to all these other third-party websites that the MLS tends to feed into. But I like geotargeting, and that's something that- Digital you, marketing. Yeah, digital marketing, geotargeting, follows people around on the web. It's a little higher level, most people don't use it, they got to spend the money on the taco truck, but not on the advertising of the house that goes to 50,000 people. That's a way to get your house exposed. You can do, I like to do the 3D Matterport, the tour, so people can actually walk through your house. It's not cheap, but it'll get rid of the people that don't like your house or don't like the floor plan. It gives them a virtual reality walkthrough of the house. Hey. I think that is not only progressive, but it makes sense. Because then people can right there, those people that would be potentially wasting your time for showing, that virtual walkthrough can knock it right out right there. So for me, I like the virtual reality tour versus the open house. As people don't understand how much work goes into real estate. Real estate is a hard job. It is, it's difficult. I love it. It's, you have to have passion for it, but you also have to have some intellect. So you like the efficiency and sort of the intellectual elements of doing the digital marketing because it's, it's easier to know that you're getting bang for your buck as opposed you're to the cattle call of an open house, basically. And you're getting better exposure, and you don't have to worry about setting appointments or having your house open for people that aren't going to qualify. And I know there are people that don't have an agent, for example, that maybe are just starting out. Open houses might be good for that, but at the same time, qualifications matter. I think you really only want people coming through your house that potentially qualify to buy it. Mm 
So, you know, for an agent doing an open house, for them, meet prospective buyers, maybe they don't qualify for your house, but it'd be a new lead for them. Um, they can make relationships with your neighbors, which they normally wouldn't be able to do, unless they went door knocking and actually did it. Mm. There's just a lot of agent benefits to an open house more than to the seller, I'm sorry. Okay. It, but if you wanna keep, if you wanna look busy, if you wanna say, look at me and how grand I am, I'll put on a big open house for them, I'll do it. I don't, it's not that I won't do it, I just think efficiency matters. Mm -hmm. Getting the house sold matters. In a market like this where inventory is low, if you wanted to do like what I talked about, how they advertise it for two weeks, created a buzz, priced it right. Built it up. Built it up, you had people around the block, but our MLS doesn't allow for that anyway. And I don't think I would wanna post a listing that you couldn't get into for two weeks. I'm sorry, I, I, I can see through all of that. So if you have an educated agent who can explain that to the client, client gets it, don't need to worry about all the hype and the buzz. Do the stuff that makes sense. Send out a mailer that makes sense to like apartment communities for first time home. There's so many things you can do when you're selling a house. So well, many things. <clears throat> Big Daddy said it. Ah! I hey, did. I'm, so, I mean it. I am so passionate <laughs> about the open housing. I know people will hate me for it, but they can. I don't care. No one's going to hate you. It's your it's opinion. You're entitled to your opinion. Well, people don't hate other people for their opinions. Oh, they? not in this country. No. Are you kidding me? No, well, no, yeah. Welcome not. to the last three or four months of my life. Certainly Love it. not. No complaints. Big Daddy Brad Garrity. My JD, thank you so much you. for your time today. We really Always. appreciate it. And stick around for more Smarter San Diego TV, where we guarantee to make you smarter than everyone else commercial free.